T. Higgins, currently wide receiver 37, caught four of eight targets for 62 yards, 27% target share, creeping up ever so higher, man. Just unbelievable target share. Two more targets than Boyd this week. Since starting in week two, here's the target breakdown. Boyd, 35. Higgins, 30. A.J. Green, 25. He's averaging eight targets a game over the last three weeks. A.J. Green obviously re-injured his hamstring. If anybody watched the game, he did not return after halftime. Uh, He missed nearly all of training camp with that hamstring injury. Um, Completely gave zero effort on a really badly thrown interception by Burrow as well. Oh, man, that was that was totally unacceptable. I would drop A.J. Green everywhere and I would drop him like before waiver claims even get processed. Like I would just he's not it this year. Yeah. And then there was there was video of him uh, telling somebody on the sideline to just trade me evidently, too. So it's just not great. T Higgins, though, rostered in 42 percent of leagues. So still qualifies. We're going to bang this T Higgins drum, man. How much fab are you running out to spend on T Higgins if he's available? She bangs. So she targets. Bangs. Uh, so, so. <laughs> oh, baby. Um, they, so T Higgins, nothing the first week, but since then targets of six, nine, nice, seven and eight. <laughs> and I just think like if he's going to consistently <laughs> Had seven or eight targets every week, then uh, the floor is the floor is there. He's established the floor as like a you know eight to ten points a week. Again, that offense, Joe Burrow was on pace for the most pass attempts in NFL history uh, after week four. I don't know if that's still the case now, but he um, they're going to keep airing it out. AJ Green's hurt. T Higgins is clearly the number two. There, there's not a lot of competition. AJ Green is toast, and T Higgins, I, he seems like he's the guy. So if he's not rostering your league, one crazy, I guess. But yeah, you should you should go out and try to get him. Um, you, you know, not a super impressive week this last week. Four for sixty two. Um, only eight point two in in half PPR. I believe that's ten point two in uh in ppr leagues so you know again not crazy good but somebody that should be rostered and is for sure a bi-week replacement if you need someone yeah i mean the big thing there was the matchup right against the ravens i mean i just i wasn't really expecting a whole lot out of that offense at all period um so i was just more so looking to see if they could move the ball at all the answer really there was no but when they were trying to move the ball, who were they trying to go to? And it was T Higgins uh, on a majority of Joe Burrow throws. Uh, Next three games for Higgins are at the Colts, uh, home against the Browns, and then home against the Titans. So that's appealing. Uh, The playoff schedule is Cowboys, Steelers, Texans. So two of those three weeks, I feel like he's playable. Um, I think he's going to be season-long value. We're starting to see yep. some rookie receivers continue to command larger target shares. I wouldn't be surprised. That, yeah, I think he at least finishes number two and could. There is a world where he could finish with the most targets on that team. So, hmm. <clears throat> I don't think so, but yeah, it's, it's, it's still Tyler Boyd's show, um, but, but T. Higgins is, is a very serviceable number two. I would spend 15 to 20% fab on Higgins because the volume is there. If he has not been picked up in your league again, I I think you can get away with less than that and still get him in the 10% range. Um, Because if, if he hasn't been picked up yet, then he's probably not on people's radars. Again, if you're listening to this, you're probably doing more research than anybody else is in your league. And thank you for listening. T bangs. Um, T bangs. <laughs> oh baby, wait. T moves. T moves. I go crazy. No, nothing. I'm a better singer than he is, just for the record. And I, I hope everybody knows that. There's no singing yeah, involved in I'm that subs- song. It's just shouting. 
That's singing. I mean, oh. William Hung sung it in American Idol like 15 years ago. You don't think he's, he was singing? Yeah, I think like nobody's even going to understand what that reference was. Thank you for at least throwing the guy's name out. They absolutely will. Okay. If people don't know who William Hung is, just go look him up. American Idol, like circa 2005 or something like that. So you're welcome. I think I'm old. <laughs> but yeah, T, T, T Higgins, I think you, I, I don't think you need to spend more than more than 10 percent to get him. Um, if that's not a winning bid, that sucks. Um, but that's as much as I would go on him. Um, if if you're doing a traditional waiver system and I, I think you should use a waiver spot to pick him up. Whoa, didn't see you there. You can't sneak up on me like that. I'm sorry. I was just making some trades. How about you hit that subscribe button? I'll show you what it was.